Half life of insulin receptor is 6 to 12 hours. That means they are constantly synthesized and degraded. Genes on chromosome 19 synthesize these glycoprotein receptors. Insulin receptors are tyrosine kinase receptors present in the cell membrane. They are integral membrane proteins with an extracellular and intracellular domain. Domains positioned outside the cell bind insulin and activate the tyrosine kinase catalytic domain located within the cell. The tyrosine kinase in turn activate various other proteins in a signaling cascade leading to insulin's various functions. We will discuss it in detail in signal transduction. About 20,000 receptors are present in a single cell. Number of receptor is regulated by the level of insulin. When the level of insulin is high, number of insulin receptor decreases, probably by internalization. Now the question is, how these receptors are synthesized? Just like insulin, proreceptors are synthesized in rough endoplasmic reticulum. Proreceptor is cleaved to form mature alpha and beta subunits. A heterodimer is formed linked by SS bonds. Insulin receptors contain phosphate and are subjected to covalent modification by phosphorylation and dephosphorylation reactions. This reversible phosphorylation activate or deactivate the receptors. The site for protein phosphorylation are those amino acid residues that contain hydroxyl groups, most commonly serine, but also tyrosine and threonine. Phosphorylation uses protein kinase and dephosphorylation uses protein phosphatase. 